Right now, it is such an honor to be able to interview the star of the show, Twiggy, the skiing squirrel. Hi, Chuck. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not Twiggy. <laughs> right, right, he's not Twiggy. This is Chuck Best, and he is the handler for Twiggy and the owner of this whole movement. Yes. So this is very fascinating to me. Please share, what does Twiggy the squirrel do? So Twiggy is the only water skiing squirrel in the world. Really? Uh, she's been water skiing now for 44 years. It's a mm -hmm. family business that my parents started back in 1979. Wow, the only. Only. What only. a dynamic. What? I mean, how exclusive is Twiggy? And I've seen videos of Twiggy skiing. Yep. <laughs> I'm excited to see her skiing live. But tell me, how did you even get a squirrel to ski? So it's just like training any animal. They're super okay. smart. People don't understand squirrels are actually very intelligent. Yes, they might get lost trying to get across the street, but <laughs> they are very smart animals. Um, I, I can tell you things that they do at home as far as like get into everything. If they smell something, I had nuts in, in my cabinet and they found those nuts. And opened the cabinet. And almost <laughs> opened the cabinet. They tried to chew in. Right, but, right. But they're just very smart animals. and. And teaching them is just like training any animal, just okay. getting them positive reinforcement. Right, and so this whole movement behind her skiing is to provide water safety. So share with me about that message. So back in 96, my dad lost his life in a boating accident. I'm so sorry. He's the one that started this um, all as a joke. And well, when he lost his life, my mom put a life jacket on the squirrel, started promoting water safety. And then now Twiggy is the spokes animal for the Wear It campaign, promoting water safety to make sure everyone wears their life jackets. Yeah. So accidents like that happen with my dad won't happen to everyone else. Yeah, that's amazing. And so I know that you all are sponsored by Progressive. And so you have these um, cute little skis over here. And this is what Twiggy skis on? Yes. Ah, and, and we just added now to the show, we have two squirrels skiing at the same time sometimes mm -hmm. as well. So. It's, it's definitely quite the act. It's crazy, right? It's crazy in these waters. And so the whole message behind the water safety though, share more with me. So what is the, how do you communicate that message through this whole demonstration? We try to do it in a positive way. Um, we basically are just putting the life jacket on the squirrel. I have a skit with a little squirrel uh, tail on it with a life jacket on that someone puts on in the middle of the show. Okay. Um, and just doing it in a positive way to make sure that people are aware that wearing a life jacket is a positive thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And as you go around nationally, sometimes internationally, yep, sometimes. and promote this show, how does the audience react? I'm sure that it's a whole party. I'm sure they're very amazed. It, it, it's <laughs> funny because like you go to the show and, you, and I'm watching, I watch the audience, you know, mm -hmm. just as Twiggy goes onto the skis, I've even had kids rolling on the floor laughing, but even a 40, 50 year old man <laughs> rolling on the floor laughing. Yeah. So it's unique. It, it really is. It's it's not very, it, it, it's not very like often you get to see an entertaining act right. that is diverse, where yeah. it's all ages are like, oh man, I have to see this. Right. So yes. it really is great to see. Uh, and just all the smiles that I get to see every week. Yeah, I'm sure. And to have this um, business for over 40 years is just such an amazing milestone. And Twiggy is so cute and so calm. Oh, she is. You know, She's like, I'm just baby. like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's so incredible. So what do squirrels eat? So everyone thinks nuts. Okay, and right. Act <laughs> actually, nuts is not part of their regular diet. Mm -hmm. In the wild, they eat uh, a lot of like insects, a bark, leaves, flowers. Um, so in cap captive squirrels, ones that we rescue, because they're all rescues, mm -hmm. we give them a lot of veggies. It's all a vegetarian diet, lettuce, um, cucumbers, uh, sugar snap peas. Oh. Um, f we give them mealworms, they love mealworms. <laughs> she goes crazy, or nuts, for mealworms. Yeah. So oh just a really healthy diet. We also mm -hmm. give them a little block um, that has all the nutrients they would get from the wild. Mm -hmm. They get it as far as with that one block. They get two of those a day as well. Yeah, okay. And so tell me about the show that people can expect. So when Twiggy hits the water and jet skiing over here, like what? what's the excitement? What's the show about? So it, it, every show's different. It's, okay. it's kind of fun because Twiggy makes the show. Yeah. She gets on the skis and off the skis all by herself. Everyone's mm -hmm. like, oh, she strapped it. No. 
you got to watch the show. She gets on the skis, really? and if she doesn't want to water ski, mm -hmm. she doesn't water ski, and <laughs> okay. and, and she will tell you. Um, but usually, as far as when she's water skiing, sometimes she's pruning herself, sometimes she's antsy looking around, especially right. in a new environment, okay. um, and then sometimes she's pulling off tricks and jump into the boat as well. Oh, I, I'm so excited to see Twiggy ski. Seriously, like this is so amazing. And Chuck, you know, I really love your story, and I appreciate you sharing it and really just using a traumatic experience to provide so much help and goodness for other people and awareness for this cause. Thank you, yes, yeah. I, I really enjoy it. It's something that's that's really close to my heart, so it really makes it well worth my time. Yeah, well thank you. And stay tuned for Twiggy as Twiggy hits the water as she jet skis. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> 